keeping on guys sergeant's tech tips sorry i haven't been uploading for a bit um i'm still going through a breakup and it's a little more difficult than i intended but i mean most breakups are so i'm actually going to be doing a keyboard review it's the chan chow i think keyboard i don't know it's an rgb keyboard i bought it off amazon there will be a link in the description below if you guys would like to buy it uh it's a pretty cheap keyboard it's like 35 bucks 32 bucks for a mechanical decent keyboard along with the mouse and i did get a new monitor and i will be doing a review on that anyway but i'm going to show you guys anyway all right, so here's the keyboard. Uh, my first initial impressions are the sound. I think it sounds fine. Uh, it is a little loud here, but you can also remove the switches very easily, which is nice. And uh, I don't know where mine went, but I have a uh, key switch remover. And here's the mouse. I think the mouse is actually really decent. You can change the LEDs with this button. And I use that one because my keyboard's doing this. And if you want to change the colors on the keyboard, you just hold down function and click scroll lock. And it'll do like some cool effects. Not all of them are nice, but I like to use certain ones. That one's cool. And you can change brightness by holding the function key down. And I think it's page up and page down. No, it's not page up and page down. It's uh, it's one of these. No, it's not. There is a way to turn down the brightness. Um, when you buy it, you can actually check the user manual and figure that out yourself. But... I just think some of the um, effects are actually really nice to have. And I'm going to do some B-roll in a minute with the uh, colors. But typing on it is not horrible. It, I mean, I type pretty fast on a keyboard anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. It is a little loud at night, but honestly, I really don't care. Here's the monitor, by the way. Uh, it's an AOC 165 hertz. That is my secondary monitor. I got coffee and my headset on the desk. But yeah, I'm drinking coffee at 4 p.m. But um. But yeah, so here's the keyboard. Uh, it's very durable, in my opinion. I don't really feel any flex. I mean, if I, there's no flex in it at all if I press down on it. And the back of it, I mean, it's kind of a simple design, but I think there is some cable routing. There is no cable routing. There is a little cable routing here, but here you can see the model number. Uh, it does have these, but I don't use them because I think it's already high up enough with the keyboards. And yeah, it does have a wrist rest, which is removable, but I'm not going to remove it because it's a pain in the ass to put back on. All you got to do is slide it in, and it's got these little hooks. I actually really like the wrist dress. I think it's super comfortable. Um, it's a really good keyboard for the money. There will definitely be a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. I'm only doing this video because I really don't have anything else to record, and I just wanted to get a video out for ad revenue purposes. But, yeah, it's a good little keyboard. Uh, I've been playing Warzone for probably a month on it. Actually, a little bit longer than that, or a little bit shorter than that, because I didn't buy it that long ago. It does attract dust really quickly, but that's fine. Get air duster, get a microfiber cloth. You can put, like, a drop of water, isopropyl alcohol on it and just clean off each individual key and the air duster should work i mean the keys are kind of annoying to clean but you can also take them off and clean them if you have to i mean if you if you're really good at remembering where all the keys go you can just take in each individual key off and wash them by hand which would work fine or take one off wash it put it back on and it does come with a key remover but i don't know where it went so we're not going to do that but the mouse is okay um i've definitely had better mouses it is a braided cable the keyboard is not braided at all but that's also fine but here is the um cable it's the four not horrible to be 100 honest with you i think it's really good but here's the back of this i really do like the mouse to be 100 honest with you i would not trade it for anything else but i would rather have a razor or a logitech because they're more better feeling but i've been using this mouse for a while and it's fine and i've had this mouse pad for as long as i can remember so but yeah I'm going to go ahead and shut the light off and do some B-roll.
guys. Hope you enjoyed the B-roll. Uh, it's really not that good. Um, I really do like some of the effects. I actually haven't really messed with it because I like this effect more. But I'm going to go ahead, turn the camera around, and I'm going to show you how it is to type on it and how it sounds very quietly. But first, I'm going to do the sound test. So just I'm going to be extremely quiet, and you're just going to listen to it. All right, guys, so now we are on the keyboard. I'm just gonna, yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, you guys get to look at the pretty lady in the background. Hopefully I don't lose the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a text document and just type in it. So we're gonna go to text document, grab it, and type in it. Sometimes I have issues typing on it, but. I'm gonna try out the numpad now. Numpad's not horrible. Uh, we also got up here. The backspace is really nice as well, so that's just something you can look out for. And just, you know, it, it's a really good feeling keyboard. And as I said, there's like no play. I cannot bend this at all. Like I can't bend it at all. Oh, I just typed something. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's just my first initial impressions because it's a cheap, easy to use keyboard. And honestly, if you're just looking for a decent keyboard, I just buy it because especially with the fact that you can remove the keys and then clean them, a lot of keyboards that are about this price can't really do that. Uh, I can actually go on Amazon and look up the price. Just give me one second. All right, so I bought this keyboard on December 12th, 2020, and I've had it since then, and I have been using it. So I bought this for... $35, I think. Let me go to the thing. So, uh, $37.99. So I bought it for $38. And I think right now the price is $38, from what I remember. Yeah, the price is $38. And, I mean, you guys can see it. It's a really nice keyboard. Um, it's mechanical blue switches. Or no. Yeah, blue mechan switch mechanical keyboard with crisp sound and tactile feedback. When using, blue switches have about 50 Gs press switch, press stress designed or something like that. But, I mean, honestly, uh, it even gives you all the information on how to change the colors, the brightness. So, if you can do brightness by doing the FN and then up and down. That doesn't really work. Oh, okay. So, uh, FN and Escape will turn off the keyboard completely if you just want to quickly do that. But, yeah, that's just my opinion on the keyboard. If you guys would like more information on it, let me know and I can do a follow-up video. Uh, I just didn't have anything to record, and I needed something to record. So I actually have to edit this video anyway, but good. it's a good keyboard. Um, I'm going to list the uh, link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and buy it. I am going to write a review on Amazon. You guys can read that as well if you would like. I prefer to read reviews on products before I buy them, especially on Amazon, because I actually have a dead pixel on my monitor, so do not buy the monitor I have unless you have luck not to get you know, the dead pixel. Uh, and the ghosting is really bad too, but I just deal with it because it's 165 hertz. It's all I need for gaming. And yeah, so I'm going to be uploading more gaming videos eventually. Uh, so if you guys want to subscribe to the gaming channel, link in the description. You guys can buy the keyboard in the link in the description. It is about $37.99. So it's 38 bucks right now, plus shipping, probably about 40 bucks, depending on where you live, that is. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you guys did not, drop a dislike. I'll see you guys next video and peace out.